against my better judgment, I'm out again. Today, I'm just doing a chiller, the world's end loop. You see, I was out yesterday in Grasdale Forest. I was knackered. I still am knackered, but the weather's so damn good. How could I not come out? Just an average bloke on an average bike on an average ride. And you just know that's leading somewhere, don't you? You see, a lot of us use the word average. A lot of mountain bikers, average, average rider, etc. And to be honest, you know, what else would you use? Thank you. If you start, especially if you're on YouTube saying, I'm a great rider, then you're not going to pick you up on that unless you absolutely are. But the thing is, some people seem to be getting a bit upset about people saying they're average. We're not upset, but I've seen a few comments where people are saying, you're not an average rider. Why are people saying they're average when they're not and they're better than most average riders and blah, blah, blah. Because, yeah, average is subjective, isn't it? Probably more than anything else. Now, I say I'm an average rider because I've been with people faster than me, people slower than me, and even the people faster than me, they wouldn't say they're fast. But I sort of put myself, I guess, in the middle. But then that also has its own special challenges, doesn't it? Like this today. It's loose. I mean, yeah, average is far too easy a word to use. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Are there more people behind? No, it's just me. Oh, well, I haven't got any friends. <laughs> you see, what is average? What are we qualifying it against? Who are we qualifying it against? You see, to me, average is a vast scale. You've got your good people, you've got your beginners. Like everything in between is classed as average. God damn, am I glad I got out today. Look at it, stunning. I even heard a cuckoo. A lot of us tend to hang around in groups of people who are around a similar level. And I guess that just comes over time because I don't know, the people who are better, maybe gravitate to ride with people who are better. The people who are worse, gravitate to riding with people who are worse. But again, it's a wide spectrum. I'm talking to someone who's really good at one end and someone who's really shit at the other. That sounded bad, didn't it? Someone who's really shit at the other. No, I don't mean that. Because everybody on a bike is enjoying themselves, no matter how good or shit they are. But of your group of riders, I guess, Everybody does think they're average. Oh, so-and-so's a bit quicker, I'm a bit quicker than so-and-so. I'm average. But then, that only works for your group, doesn't it? There may be other groups who are quicker than your group. There's other groups who are slower. So then what happens to the average? If you live in the umbrella of your group, then maybe you don't know any difference what's fast what's slow, and what's average. The other thing is, there's a lot of different types of riding. There's cross country, enduro, downhill, endurance, you name it, there's loads. You get people who do downhilling, downhill racing and the like, and they're incredible going downhill. But then, point to a climb, and they might be bloody awful. Chances are they won't be, because we've got that fitness anyway, but you know what I mean. And then you've got people who, cross-country riders, are bloody fantastic. But then, compared to someone who's into downhill, at descending, they're not so fantastic. And therein lies the problem, really, because when we tend to say average, I think we take average to mean average descender. So again, average, 
Average what? Average all-rounder? Average descender? Average climber? Big, broad scale, isn't it? I'm a way below average climber. I'm terrible. Always have been, always will be. But if I'm a below average climber, then surely that brings down my overall average as a mountain biker. I guess the only time we ever really hear it is with social media, right, with YouTube and the like. And part of that would be because people don't want to oversell themselves, obviously. Who wants to be saying, oh, I'm great, as I mentioned before. No, I'm as guilty as the next. I refer to myself as average. Problem is, it's the easiest thing to do, isn't it? To be honest, in video comments, when people say, oh, great riding, you're a great rider, I feel a little bit embarrassed by it. Because I don't really think I am, I think I'm average. Yeah, there we go again. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's always lovely to hear it. Everybody likes a compliment, don't they? So far, so good then. I don't think anyone can really argue with what I've said. Average, using the word average, is what it is. No harm done. Oh, I hope them sheep don't get out. I'm running down there. I think they're bloody goats, don't they? I think the challenge comes in, though, when it's used in video titles and thumbnails. And when you see it using titles and thumbnails, usually bike park type stuff, things like that. Can the average rider do this? And well, that's fine. I guess it's trying to be helpful. But with everything else you've got to factor in around average, what people think is average, then the person making that video, are they judging it off their level? So the thing is, what if your average is way above their average, but they don't see that, and they take it verbatim that because you're fine on it, I'll be fine on it. I mean, this trail along here, I would say that it's well within the abilities of your average rider, but there could be people out there who feel they're average riders who might not like it. We all know the reason. Clickbait, isn't it? Getting people in by saying, average rider. Is there any harm in it? Probably not. And yes, I am filming this bit in the pub because I've got before. And it's nice to have a beer, isn't it? I think the times when it winds me up is when you put a video up and somebody comments with, I'm really glad you rode that slowly so us other average riders can see what it's like and you have to do so I think thanks bell end that's not the point they're not doing it to be rude or nasty and if you tell anybody I'm average blah 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 then obviously they're going to say that aren't they end of the day there's absolutely no harm whatsoever in using the word average it's just I thought it was an interesting topic to talk about and I do think it's a bit odd sometimes how we use it and the stigma around it. End of the day, none of it really matters does it? I had a cracking day though, cracking ride out, didn't go too far, just what the doctor ordered though, bloody lovely. Next time? Well the next time I'm riding will be tomorrow, taking a nip at a school and pedalling to work flat out. Won't be filming that though. So, until I do film again. Bye bye. It's like frigging Satan with a white coat on. <laughs>